Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mm. Wow, what an absolutely fabulous weekend we have been having thus far. I mean, the weather has been ab amazingly gorgeous. Yesterday, I actually spent the whole day just working on the whole grounds, just getting it all nicely done up and everything like that, because, of course, we're going to be doing our 4th of July celebration. And Judy, I'll tell you what, she is looking so forward to it. We're going to be doing some grilling, having some friends over, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be amazing. And, hey, for those of you that took Friday off and and also today, you know, because, of course, Tuesday's 4th of July and you're getting that extra long weekend in. I sure hope it has been going amazing for you as well. Now, before we get going with our article today, and the one I got is a really, really big one for this piece, that is for sure. I want to give a shout out to two of our younger viewers. And this one is going to Daniel and Isaiah. Guys, I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter how old you are. The fact that you guys tune in and watch this program and all that, I just want to say thank you. I value that so, so much. And I'll tell you another thing, too. It is really going to be a bonus in your guys' pockets when you get older there that, you know, you're learning about this space really early on because you're going to be head and shoulders above all of your peers. I genuinely believe it because even at our age, there are so many people that are absolutely oblivious to this space. So, guys, hey, have a great weekend with your mom and your dad who love you just amazingly, I'll tell you what, and uh, and and enjoy your 4th of July. I sure hope you get to blow off so a lot of really great firecrackers and stuff like that. That's for sure. Mm. Oh, guys, the articles that I'm talking about that are a big deal in this space is this. Is Gary Gensler either wired, fired, or retired? Because I'll tell you, the Twitter verse is going nuts over this information. And you got a lot of these influencers posting these videos. Some of them are coming out and say, yep, it is a definite yes, he's off. And of course, they're saying he didn't, you know, really retire. He got fired because he got caught up in this internal investigation where, you know, he was doing some insider trading and da 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 da. And you got other ones out there saying, oh, no, this is absolute hogwash. You know, I reached out to the SEC themselves, and they're just saying, hey, sorry to disappoint you, but that's a bunch of baloney and da-da-da-da-da. Well, guys, this just shows you just how polarized this space is and the stuff that absolutely comes out. Now, I'm not going to actually buy it until I see him literally walking out the door. I don't even care if he gets online and says it himself where he says he's retiring the day he leaves then we'll see and guys don't think that he just because he's leaving he can't in, do any damage on the way out look what jay clayton did jay clayton on the very last day as commissioner of the sec what did he go do well we all know he dropped this lawsuit on ripple and and now he's sitting out there singing about oh how you know this you know we can't do all this regulation by enforcement what a hypocrisy and and yet guys this is what we got going on with our you know bureaucrats these remember these are appointed bureaucrats these are not elected officials mm. and yet hey they're the ones that seem to be running the country not the ones that we actually elect to go out there and run the country well they're out there you know padding their own pockets and doing whatever it is that they do to smooth and this and this and this so to make sure they get re-elected next go around these guys were actually elected to run the country but what do they do oh no 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 we want to appoint all these people here to actually do the work that we were literally elected to do and so then they back we asked all their authority to these bureaucrats that are not not accountable by the way to the you know the citizenry that elected them so what happens is they just start doing their own deal right there they just cowboy their way through it and in this case we've seen Gary Gensler literally change his tune unbelievably when he was a private citizen there while working for I think it was MIT or something like that we got all kinds of videos on him explaining what blockchain is and this and that and which are securities and which aren't and why and the whole deal now that he's the commissioner of the SEC he couldn't tell you what buttons on his shirt are made out of you know it's kind of not nonsense because he doesn't know what a security is and what it isn't when he gets asked directly you know from the financial services committee he's like oh blah, 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 blah. i mean it's just a bunch of hogwash i mean the reality is in this capacity at least in that capacity we are watching nothing more than a dog and pony show now of course 
If Gary Gensler is, re is resigning or getting fired, I want to throw this supposition out because if that's the case, I think we're watching nothing but theater, and I'll tell you why. So here we have BlackRock apply for an ETF, spot ETF for Bitcoin, and it gets refused by, of course, Gary Gensler's, you know, while Gary Gensler's the commissioner of the SEC. My guess is this, guys. If this guy leaves, he'll say, hey, hey, hey. I'm going to say no to it, but then what will happen, what we'll do is this, I'll resign or maybe I could even get fired even better. And then um, that will look like, hey, I, I actually said no to BlackRock. I'm not in their back pocket. And then whatever stooge they bring in to replace them. Woo, amazingly enough, BlackRock's Eat Spot ETF for Bitcoin gets approved. Now, that's just my supposition and maybe, you know, a conspiratorial mind to be sure a little bit. But that's the kind of things I expect now out of these kind of guys. Because look, there Gensler was, coming before Congress. And, and, and of course, you know, you got... You know, Elizabeth Warren out there asking the questions. But meantime, they had pre-orchestrated what the questions and the answers were going to be. You know, it was just nothing but a script. And, uh, and, and just literally you were watching theater right before our very eyes. And this goes on, guys. I think that one, you know, it got exposed, of course. But that happens, I'm sure, all the time. These people literally believe that most you and I are absolute blithering idiots. And we don't know what's really going on. And if we did, we wouldn't have the maturity to handle it, you know. And that's why they think that they know best and that they're going to actually tell us how they live the rest of our lives and stuff like that. Every human being on the face of the earth is born with an intrinsic knowledge of what liberty should really look like. It's right there, isn't it, on the inside? And that's what we're here to celebrate on the 4th of July, is independence, the way to think for yourself, make your own decisions. And what does the Constitution say? You know, that pursuit of happiness, the declaration that, that, that a person can pursue their own happiness, guys. Now, of course, as long as that doesn't infringe on somebody else being able to pursue their happiness to a level degree and and we need to protect those that don't have a voice to protect themselves absolutely 100 percent. but we don't need big brother coming out there and telling us oh well cheese and cheetos well those aren't good for you so you know what can't eat those oh and you know by the way that beef that we've been telling you and that chicken that we've been telling you was you know really good for you on that you know that uh, nutrition chart that we all grew up knowing that was absolute baloney. In fact, we're going to replace that with crickets and ants and, you know, maybe even a few flies because that's going to be better for you to eat bugs than to eat beef. That's the kind of nonsense that's going on now. And yet they're selling this like no tomorrow, you know, over there in Europe, seizing farms so that they can reduce climate emissions. Come on, that is absolute hogwash. It wouldn't surprise me that, you know, watch and see if they haven't really invested in all of these, you know, various different organic, you know, uh, agricultural stuff. Because, of course, when you start seizing these things and you stop using the land to produce food, what are you going to see? Well, you're going to see a big time rise in prices, and that's what's going to go on. Ooh. But this whole deal with Gary Gensler retiring, being fired, or if he's just like wired all up and all this kind of stuff, and, and you know, he, it's just playing a charade. Guys, let's just see what all pans out because I don't know how much credence there is to it, but until I see that guy literally walking out of the door holding his cardboard box, I'm not going to buy it. That is absolutely for sure. In fact, if he does walk out of the door, he won't be carrying his own box. He'll have a bunch of lackeys out there carrying them for him. That's how these guys go down. And they always kind of seem to you know you know cats with nine lives you know what i mean they always land on their feet somehow but anyways guys i'll tell you what i sure hope you're having an amazing fourth of july weekend now i know the whole wide world doesn't support or doesn't necessarily you know um celebrate fourth of july in that capacity but we all have our days of independence where we celebrate the fact that our nation started and we look back to the reasons that they were founded. And most of them were founded on really strong and great principles. So I'll tell you what. I sure hope wherever you are in the wide world, you're having an amazing, amazing Monday. And until later on today when we have a great video for you, have a super one. Have a great one and take care.